to like, follow, share, and subscribe, okay? Woo, here we go. I'm excited. I don't know what the fuck's gonna, I, I've not been spoiled for a damn thing. I don't know anything about this game besides what trailers have shown. Like, I, I, nothing. I know nothing. Not a clue. Warning, broadcasting game for <laughs> Y'all didn't see shit. Okay. Sure, man. Yeah? Spike tunes up in to Tokyo games? I guess how they say that? Because it's not Tokyo, it's Tokyo. I don't know what the fuck happens in this game, literally. This game has an autosave feature, an icon will appear in the- Okay, cool, thank you. As most games- Hold on, we got a vibe. Okay, I think it's just that. Okay, it looks good! I- I- there's already DLC for this goddamn game, it's fucking crazy. Alright, let's just go. I'm excited. I'm excited! What the fuck's gonna happen to this goddamn game? I have no idea. A book. Okay. Sure, man. A book open. Yeah. Oh, all, all right. Um, is this like just a opening credit? What's going on here? What is this? What's happening? Little ghost friend. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, gonna... look, a human. It's been a while. Hi. <sighs> anyway, that was a good nap. I nearly slept through the whole thing. Okay. Sure. Let's see. All right. There's something I have to do first. Which is? Okay, human. Listen up. First, I'll have you select your difficulty. Okay, now we're getting fucking meta. Choose wisely. Complain about it later, and I'll boom kill ya. I don't- okay. Now then, display the options. Oh, I don't like how meta we're getting here, but alright. Uh, lenient, mean, ad adorable. What the fuck does that mean? Wait, what is, what is adorable? What the fuck does that mean? Sounds fine, but what the hell does adorable mean? Maybe that means, like, easy mode. I don't want to, like, fuck up here. <laughs> like, I already feel like I'm gonna fuck up the game! So, since it doesn't matter, we're gonna pick adorable. I hope this doesn't fuck us. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, you sure about that? Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm scared. Hmm. You want to know what difficulty that is? The one you selected is how difficult yours truly will be on you. Oh, I'll oh. be as difficult with you as you wish. So I hope you're ready. Oh, okay. No, to be honest, it's all the same no matter what you pick. Okay. <laughs> I'm your lenient, mean, troublesome, adorable partner. After all. Okay. So, are you ready? As ready as I'm ever gonna Do you be. Start for real. For real? Do you seriously want to start? Yes, I do. Seriously? Yes. For real? Chill the fuck out. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't start. Roll credits, guys. Yep, seriously. Huh. Guess you're really here for it. No shit. That's so what we're all here like for. You're just dying to solve some mysteries. Sure, man. You just can't wait to go on adventures with me, right? Sure, girl. Ghost thing. <laughs> Humans are so weird! Sure, man. Well, let's get this started. It's time to embark on my lovely, thrilling, wonderful, mystery-solving adventure. So this is our new Monokuma. <laughs> let's go! Okay. She kind of creeps me the fuck out. A little bit. Chapter Zero, Massacre on the Amaterasu Express. Well, that sounds fun. How many people are gonna die? <laughs> so we're on the train. Is this Honkai Star Rail? Mugen train was taken. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello, main character. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Oh, oh. Ow. Oh. A ow. What's going on? Couldn't tell you, to be honest. Wait. Huh? Where am 
Okay. Oh, I'm getting such Danganronpa vibes from this, and I love it. Oh, ow, ow! Ow. <laughs> Jesus. Is that a mirror? Okay. Who? What? Okay. Amnesia. <laughs> Ultimate unlucky stone already. Uh, isn't his name like Yuma Coco Head? Okay. Why are your shoes so <gasps> glowy, brother? <gasps> yeah. Huh? Why? How? <gasps> I can't remember anything. Rip Bozo. Does that mean that <laughs> last time something fell on someone's head in Danganronpa, uh, they died? Do so. I have what was it called? Amnesia? I'm just looking at all the stuff in the background, Taylor. What's with the fucking robot? <laughs> also, oh my god, it's so reminiscent of Danganronpa. I feel like I'm playing Danganronpa, but I know I'm not. Uh, all right, calm down. Take a deep breath. Yeah, this BGM is nice. Okay, wait a minute. His 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 outfit has an F on it. Maybe that stands for fuckboy. Dang it! I can't remember anything! Although with a face like that, I don't think he's a fuckboy. Where am I? Who am I? Why can't I remember? Ah, uh, man, I don't know. Inside. Your pocket. The fuck? Also, he looking like... Makoto Naegi and Kyoko Kitty's love child up in this bitch. Huh? Check your belongings. Wh who's there? Am I hearing things too? I lost my memories and now I'm hearing things. What's going on? I don't know, man. I, I just got here. Ow! Ow! So what the fuck? Oh, what now? I can't catch a break. Hmm. Check my belongings. Uh huh. What you got? Oh no, it's an E. Never mind. That's an E on his belt. I thought it was an F. Earlier. An envelope. What is it? What could E stand for? I can't think of anything. Yuma Coco oh, Head. Nice. Actually, Coco Head. Yep. Which is a weird ass name. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Okay. Crack theory, okay? This takes place thousands, millions of years after the events of Danganronpa. So this like World Detective Organization was made by Makoto and Kyoko, and it's just like evolved over time and this is their ancestor, like, like, years later, like, like, down the line. Why, and why it's down the line is because he didn't have the same last name as Makoto Naegi, so it's like, you know, like, thousands and thousands of years later. Big brain theory, that's what this game's about. Dear Yuma Coco Head, you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous yeah, zone read this, of bro. Kanai Ward. Dispatch duration indefinite yeah i read this bro use the enclosed ticket to board the amaterasu express to kanai ward rendezvous with the master detectives on site upon arrival proceed to the nocturnal detective agency world detective organization okay. there you will receive further instructions go forth proud detectives eliminate all mysteries from this world okay see my theory starting to make sense isn't it Yuma Coco Head? Surely. That's my name? <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, why the fuck is my name Coco Head? Like, like, Yuma's a fine name, that's fine, but Coco, what the fuck is that? Thinking on it, I guess that sounds right. Uh, uh, what if his name actually isn't that and they just, uh, it's all a lie. His, uh, his name actually starts with E because it's on his belt. Well, uh, his name's Ata. <laughs> Ata right. something. I finally remember. My name is Yuma. Sure, man. I'm Yuma Coco Head. I would not say that confidently. Oh, what the? F what the fuck? Okay, that's that's interesting. 
I guess we'll get introduced to people like that now. Sure, man. But what's this about a world detective organization? Oh boy. It sounds significant. Am I a part of it? If that's the case, am I a detective? Yes. What if he's the villain of the whole game? In I actuality. guess these kind of look like a detective's clothes. Uh, I wouldn't. Well, I mean, I guess kind of. It seems I was supposed to get on a train. Or at least... You're on I one. Think so. I think. Master detectives? Am I... one of them? Could there be someone who knows me on the train? Here's the ticket. Let's check the schedule. Nothing interesting on the ticket. I, I am, like, using my Danganronpa right now to analyze every goddamn thing in this room. Can we get a DR game where the MC is not detected? Where's the main female game? I don't know. I don't, I don't hate that. Hey, it's almost time. I, I am, like... I am dang and roping the shit out of this game right now. I'm just making sure I'm taking note of every little detail in this goddamn room because someone could die in here. Well, I should get on that train. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. Attention! I... Oh, what the fuck? Before rushing off the train, let's start with some basic controls. Walking around. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to get a oh, um, oh. the camera and explore surroundings. Oh. Place with examiner mark. Yup. Better write this down. You can fast forward, auto advance the dialogue, cinematics can be skipped. Okay. I don't be doing that. Oh. Detective mindset. Detective points, DP, can be earned. <laughs> Wait, we have 3D model mover? Apparently. Can be earned by conducting detective activities like investigate. Gotcha. Sure, hope you got all that down. Earning DP decreases increases the detective rank. Maybe something cool will happen when the rank goes up. Okay. Don't you forget. Oh my god, okay. Icons on the minimap. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Oh, hey, look at that. Wow. Oh, we're really slow. Okay. Okay. Why are there so many umbrellas? The label... Okay. That's important. I feel like that shit's gonna be important later. Someone's gonna get stabbed with an umbrella. Bags, hats, and books. A lot of stuff has been placed here. Yeah. Okay. Robot. What is it? Toy robot. A toy robot? It looks sturdy. The label says lost items. Ki guys, it's Kivo from Danganronpa V3, but small. No, it's not. It's just a little robot. Okay, is there anything else in here? Yes, there's a lot. Not more umbrellas. Hmm. Something in the back, but I can't get through with all the things in the way. Stuff might fall if I try to move it. Better not go back there. Well, there's a dead body back there already. We can't even go there. What? Uh, I'll check that in a minute. I'm gonna check the boxes. This is. There's a cardboard box here. I can peek inside through the hole, but it's too dark to make anything out. There's brains in there. Dead body. Okay, what's the equipment? A01 1125 and some Japanese writing, I think. Alright, mirror. I see myself. I'm still not used to this. Okay, I believe we. Oh, rank up, skill point, memory cap. Huh. Alright, looks like that's everything in here. Oh god, it. The, the movement. The movement is a little janky. I won't lie. This, this fixed camera. I don't know. The movement do feel a little janky, but I shouldn't expect like fluidity from a Danganronpa. Okay, we are not on the train. I get it. The place where I was sleeping was in fact. Why the fuck were you? What the fuck happened? Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> we're at a station's lost and found. That's right. I've been sleeping in a station's lost and found section. What? what uh, huh? But why was I sleeping here? Uh, bro, I have no idea. Did I faint? Or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? Attention passengers departing this station. Direct to Kanai Ward on the Amaterasu oh, we gotta Express. Get going. Please board immediately. The train will depart soon. Uh, I have to get on that train. I better hurry. Run. Run, boy, run. Run. 
I mean, this looks like normal Japan almost, for the most part. <laughs> I'm sorry. Express will now depart. Wow, this is a fancy ass train. Suddenly, SMT5. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Sure, man. Oh, made it in time. That's a fancy ass train. Guys, it's Honkai Star Rail. Thank you for choosing the Amaterasu Express Direct to Kanai Ward. Hey, this is the bathroom. Our train utilizes Amaterasu Corporation's state of the art technology for an automated, safe, and comfortable service. There is no crew aboard the train. Thank you for your understanding and support. So we blame AI. Automatic? So nobody's driving this So thing. we're gonna blame the AI if we crash, got it. This train has five cars. It will operate non-stop to its destination. Food and beverages are available in car two. I was about to ask, like, how are we getting food and beverages? Restrooms are available in car one and car five. I feel like this is important information. Everything that's said, I'm just like a dang and rope of brain and just like... Okay, car one and car five are restrooms. The other ones is the uh, car... Oh, fuck, I've already forgotten. It's fine. In case of an emergency, visit the backup control room in car, car three, three and contact control headquarters via the intercom. Bathroom not in res restaurant car? <laughs> We hope you enjoy your trip aboard the Amaterasu Express on your journey to Kanai Ward. Yeah, I mean, hey, they're just gonna have to make a run for it, a dash for it to the bathroom. So there are five cars. This okay. must be car one at the front. I better find the other detectives and meet up with them. Sure, man. If we use this... Oh. The notebook menu has features that is used to the... Uh, okay. Yo, check, check! In case files, you can see the outline of the ongoing case, the next objective. Oh, this stuff's vital! And save da, 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 yeah, okay. You definitely want to remember this. You save whenever a master is able to walk on freely, but here, uh, there are some of the. So be careful. And that's a wrap! Okay, thank you. Okay. So, how do I access that? Oh, that's pause. Uh. Wait, what button is it? Here we go. If you're that lost, why not check your notes? Okay, thank you. Massacre on the Amatasu Express. Okay. Profiles. Use whatever you gotta to get the job done. Profiles have been reviewed. This is worse than the cat telling you to sleep. Uh, no, it's not too bad. It's just a little tutorial. Brain. And I need this. This is, you know, it's a completely new game. I'm gonna need to know some of this shit. Okay. Likes detective novels. Dislikes amnesia. Well, no, duh. Uh, title master. Duh, talent. Nani. Blood type question mark. Birthday question mark. Okay. Glossary. It's so simple. I see. Okay. I'm good. All right. Let me save. Saving is important. New save data. Yes, please. Thank you. All right, all right. Oh, thank you for following, crazy ninja. All right, can I go to the bathroom? Yes, I There's can. There's a sink and toilet inside. This must be the restroom. No, what? No, no. This is the dance party floor. There's no one inside it right now. Can I go? Ins oh, I can't. Let's see if we can find anything in here. Hmm. I can see my reflection in the paper polished mirror. I'm still not used to it. Okay. No, we're gonna rip off your face later and it's gonna be way different. Hmm. You're Mokono Nayagi secretly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, why the fuck? Dead body in here right now. Excuse me. Hello, anyone here? Can we go take a shit? No? Okay. I wanted to go take a shit. Guess not. No shitting in, in, in this game. Fire extinguisher. Good to know. What's this? Infirmary? Oh boy! I see a clean looking bed. This is probably the infirmary. No, this is the dance floor in fact. It's locked, but there's no one inside. 
Okay, good to know. What's this? Can we jump out the train door? Yay! What's this? It's a map. Uh, yeah, wait. I want to. No, wait. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? I'm not done yet, bitch. Uh, bitch. I'm trying to look at the map. It's a map of the train. Yeah. Oh. The first and last cars can control the train, the rest are passenger cars. Okay, this the, again. Memorize. So, why do they keep the Japanese uh, writing here? That's interesting. They don't usually do that. They don't usually keep Japanese writing in the translation of games. How interesting. It says main control room B. The door is locked and you only saw up to the end of the chapter? Well, I've seen none of this game besides trailers, so. I see a driver's seat in there, but no one's inside. There's a machine, but it's not on. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Can I go through here? Uh... Uh, okay. Guess not. Well, I looked here, so I guess I'm going the other way. Why is there no run button? There should be a run button. Or a little sprint button. Maybe there is later. This is the same thing. I don't think I need to look at it again. But, oh, this one. It says main control room A. The door's locked. It won't open. There's a driver's seat inside, but no one's there. The machine yeah. appears to be functioning. That must be the automatic operation device. Driver's seat's on both sides of the train. I think that means they can go in either direction. Oh, I kind of sounded like a real detective there. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. You're, you're, you're a little cutie, aren't you? All right. It won't open. I guess that's obvious. And this is the front car. The nose of the train is oh. just beyond it. If it opened, I could fall off. <laughs> okay, so we go the other way. Now it's going to let me go, probably, through that door. Huh. A very interesting. All right, through the door. Huh? Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the door. Where's where we meet all our wacky, zacky characters, isn't it? Okay. I'm excited. Hello, everybody. Well, I think it's just your half. You are scary. Hi, uh, you, you're the villain. He's the, the old man's the traitor. He looks exactly like a villain. Like, come on, what the fuck, you know? He's gonna betray us at some point or something. Excuse me. Are you with the World Detective Organization? Like, you don't go around looking like that and you're not the villain. You are, right? You're Master Detectives, aren't you? I hope I'm not, like, stating the odds. Like, I hope that's not the case. Literally. Like, if they do that, it's like a brother. Uh, I feel like I'm playing tank control. <laughs> I'm gonna say that a lot. But who are you? One of these car- Wait, is your ears moving? Okay, that's weird as fuck. Cause isn't that part of your hat? Or is it like, is there like electronics in your hat that make- Cause like, what the fuck? Um, I'm with you. I think I'm also a master detective. Oh yeah, no, they're all wearing the same outfit. So. Except for- except for old motherfucker over there. A boy like you? Master detective of the WDO? Yeah, what's your problem, bitch? It seems like it. Seems like it. Like hell, dumbass! Ch chill, fuck you. Yeah. Huh? Chill, dude. A runt like you, a master detective? Dude, your hat's not supposed to, like, do that shit, but alright, man. You're just shooting your mouth off. You look like a shriveled anteater. <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of insult is that? Anteater? <laughs> what the fuck? What's the meaning of this? Hi, you have interesting hair. I'll say that. Like, what the fuck? clip it's a rabbit hmm it doesn't look like that one rabbit I know but hmm you gotta 
lot of nerve posing as a master detective. You wanna die right here, right now? You remind me of someone. But wait, please hear me out. Oh, right. Uh, I have proof that I'm a master detective. I can't get rid of this dude's hat. From the World Detective Organization? It's real. There's no mistake about it. What? Are you serious? Looks like there's a reason behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. Why do you have a random pink feather on your coat, dude? Master D. Stop. It's so funny. Right. Thank you. But there's those, really those not much jokes to are so dead now. Oh, what the? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? Old man hasn't said shit yet. And that's what happened. What do you mean, me stop? What do I do? I'm just playing the game. Amnesia. Looks that way. I gotta know about this dude's hat. There's no way. Like, what the fuck? I was hoping one of you would know who I am. Apparently not. Your, your makeup on your eyes go crazy. No way. We're on the same team, but no one knows me? Then who am I? Oh, thinks he's mysterious. And he's retired now. Or, you know, he graduated, whatever. That's what I want to know. Besides, even if the letter is real, yep. you may not be the right recipient. Why do you suspect me? What if he's not? What if his name is actually not Yuma Coco Head? There is a reason why. But first, do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? No, but I'm assuming you're going to tell me. Um, a little bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. Guess not. So you called yourself uh, a member without Oh, uh, the knowing. music. It's so reminiscent of Danganronpa. I'm losing it. Yes. Sorry. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Very well, I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. All right, go on. Uh, thank you. I'm really enjoying this so far. <laughs> so this is like if Persona and Danganronpa had a baby. Yeah, I mean, that's from trailers. That's what I've gathered. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... Old man said jack shit there. He sus as fuck. Let's do things logically. Oh. Okay. Uh... Okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna look around, man. Jeez. I wanna talk to the old man first. <laughs> You're sus. That's it? Alright, sure. Let me talk to a cute little girl here. Or she'll say nothing. Oh, hey, it's Scott. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, old man, he's the villain. He's the main villain or something. Hi. Oh. What is it? Uh, God damn! This bitch tall! Or at least compared to him! God damn! Look at, look at this height difference! Jesus Christ! Can I look at her skirt? No, okay. <laughs> what? 5'11 man moment. <laughs> Look how tall she is compared to him. Bro, his head is huge. Compared to her. Okay, anyway, let me talk to this dude. Listen up. The World Detective Organization is. Is? An extra legal, extra privileged organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. Yeah, his, his hat gotta have some robotics in it or some shit for it to keep moving like that. Their branches exist throughout the world, and their investigations are handled by master detectives. Cat ears, he's weeb? I don't know, he might be, but I, he don't he don't give me weeb vibes. He gives me just kind of this one dude, I don't know. I don't know much about these characters, I can't say. As of now, there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WDO. All have powers specializing in investigative work. Powers? Yeah, that's what I'm curious about, the power shit in this game. They are supernatural powers used in investigation, known as forensic fortes. Good to know. People who develop talents such as clairvoyance or mind reading. Okay, so yeah, this is literally... Okay, yeah. They train at the organization to harness these special powers, which aid in their investigations. 
Oh, I'm telling ya. Oh, I'm telling ya. This is just thousands and thousands and thousands of years in the future of Danganronpa. Isn't that just Mungo Stray Dogs? Yes, but no, but bro, I'm telling ya. This gotta be just thousands of years in the future in the Danganronpa universe, and it, it makes sense, man. Those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective team. I was gonna ask if we could just get Rob of Dome. Which means, if you're a master detective, it should say so on your license. Detective Deed? Yeah, that's, huh? It's an identification card. Check your pockets. I don't have Rip one. Bozo. If you don't have a detective deed, you ain't one of us. Even if you got one, I'd suspect it's fake anyway. Bro, why are you so harsh? Oh, hold on, I'm not trying to trick anyone. Um, pardon me. Yes. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. Sussy! But how about Imposter the among us? If you require he has some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. <gasps> the hell did you just say? Among us, Sussy Baki. <laughs> She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Huh? First time? So you guys Yeah, I don't thought know they each would. Other? The old man is saying nothing and it's freaking me out. Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. <laughs> can't can't find your detective card. Oh, check <laughs> Jesus Christ. Chill. I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. Then you... Okay, well, let's introduce ourselves, because I literally know none of your names. I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. What? You still want to do introductions? With the imposter, too? Uh, she has headphones around her head like Miku from Quintuplets, so she is a good girl. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know what to think of any of these guys too much yet. It's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. This guy gives me, like, he's so calm and clutch. He kind of reminds me of Byakuya, but, like, he's not an ass, so. <laughs> All the more reason due to this perplexing circumstance. It's like if you took Byakuya, took out the rich boy, and took out the asshole part, and you have this dude. It's, I don't know. He just kind of reminds me of him right now. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? Uh, bitch, can you? Okay. Now, let's begin. All right. Um, I want to learn about old man first. I am Zange Eraser. I come from a detective agency on the front lines, far from here. So why don't you wear the same outfit that we all do? Sus. Yeah, there he is. He fucking, he's the villain. I'm telling you now. Bro is literally this guy. Perhaps you expect an introduction, but I have nothing to say. Let the past melt like ice in an evening's drink. That's how I live my life. My forte is photography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. Oh, so you're just Joseph Joestar. You just have a hermit purple. <laughs> That's all for me. There's no need for any further explanations. There's clearly something extraordinary about him. He's got a fucking robotic eye, bitch. What the fuck do you expect? I want to know about this bitch. This tall bitch. Hi, tall bitch. Hey. Yep. Yeah. Me? Yeah. That's right. Come here. Stand before oh, me. Oh, God. What's she going to do? Ooh. Why? I'm scared. Uh, the uh, what? Whoa. Huh? What's going on? Why? 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 Well, okay. I'm measuring you. <laughs> I'm sorry. What the fuck? 
um, yeah, okay, okay, lady. <laughs> Stay still for just a second. Okay, so she must, quick. must be into fashion or make her own clothes or some shit. What the fuck? Thank you. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. Uh huh. My name is Melanie Goldmine. My home is rather far Mel north from Mel here. Mel oh my god, I can't even say it now. It's an interesting last name. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. Interesting. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yeah. Okay. A medium? I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. The last time this happened in Danganronpa, it did not go well, so... <laughs> Woohoo! Summon a soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Yes, of course. Oh, God. I'm sorry. The last time I experienced someone like her... Oh. But there is one condition. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Okay, well, that's weird. Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. Oh, I don't like that expression she's got right there. That's creepy as fuck. That creepy as fuck. That, that sprite? Uh-uh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Hence why my powers don't work on people smaller than me. Or if the person is far bigger. Overall, the size must match. Huh. Also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. Is she big? Well, I guess... I, I don't know, man. I, I just let her do her thing. That sounds more like a preference than a condition. <laughs> clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Like skin worn over skin. That's what clothes are all about. Her voice actor sounds very familiar. Consider that when compared to bare skin, Clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Okay, lady. Therefore, clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? She's got a point, except for Casper. Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. Except for Casper. Now that you mention it. That's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Bitch, we are all wearing the same outfit. Except you are wearing the female version of it. Are you an idiot? Yes. Really? Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Sure. Which means I really am a master detective? Probably? Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective, Melamy. Melamy. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you, Melamy. Let's talk to Angry Man. Angry Boy. I'm Mayfex Logan. I'm from the detective branch in the Eastern Slums. That is not the name I expected to hear come out. Apex Lo- What the- What kind of name is that? Sure, dude. But what the fuck? Apex Logan? Is this Logan Paul's son? They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke, illegal immigrant. That fits. When I was a kid, I was in an upstanding home, living an upstanding life. Well then what the fuck happened to you? My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Oh. Their necks were cut open. Oh! Right in front of them. That's me. super fun. It sounds like they got the names by using the idea tank. 
from the South. What the fuck? I, I, I don't. I've never seen South Park or Family Guy, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But or they threw darts at the board, maybe. That's awful. I ran away to protect myself and jumped on a ship at the port. Huh. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. Well, he just trauma dumped all over us just in the first five seconds of meeting the guy. I drifted to the slums and did everything I could. Thank to you for your trauma dumping. I managed to survive until now. Thanks to luck. Ultimate lucky student apprehended or found. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. But I also wanted revenge. Uh-huh. I can't stand evil. But even if you ain't evil, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. Good to know. If I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. Yeah, yeah, no, he's nothing like Soda, that's for sure. Kill or be killed is my motto. Cool, man. He I love it when you scary. die in chapter three. That's not all. Uh, surely that's not foreshadowing, right? <laughs> I think there's a deep sadness within him. I can't share details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like radar. Why, uh, bitch? Okay. That's all you're going to tell us? You got a problem with that, you tiny runt? Okay, okay, chill. Not at all. Okay, chill, dude. You sure are a frail-looking kid, aren't you? And pale to boot. Like disaster's got its claws on you. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? I'm pretty sure there's actually something haunting him. Be real. No way! <laughs> a detective's gotta be tough. How about a little training? Oh god, what? First, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. We'll start with an ice pick, then scissors, then a fruit knife. Bro! Bro! No! No thanks. Don't be shy, runt. Chill, dude. No, really? I'm fine. Yeah, let's not... Uh, no. No, thank you. <laughs> Too bad. What the fuck? He's quite the character, I'll say that much. Okay, let's go talk to cute little girl. Please don't be fucking weird. An introduction. Yes, please. Introduce myself. A subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. Uh, are you okay? Why are you talking like that? Did I do something that caused you concern? Uh, no, it's just you seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. I rarely have a need to do so, so I was considering what approach to take. Okay. After all, is there such a thing as a self in the first place? Oh god, she's getting way too dank on her ass. All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to, I guess I'd call myself Poochie Lathman. Poochie Lathman, what a name. What a name. She cute though, she just did a baby. Huh. What a name so, though. So your name is Poochie then? Names are meaningless. A method of arbitrary labeling for self-recognition. Symbols for categorization, nothing more. To that end, it serves the same purpose as a detective deed. Or so I, Poochie, believe. Okay, sure. She seems a... Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. I was trusted with many bureaucratic investigations. My clients are mainly enterprises and politicians. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. Cool! My forte is known as audio aptitude. Okay, so it has to do- okay, I guess that makes sense. When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even heartbeats. That's crazy! No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Poochie, I'm around. Great. Good to know. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Uh, maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, 
I'm unable to hear things far away. Okay. Oh, I... Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. That don't sound great. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. Being blessed with power sure comes at a price. Yeah. Did she always act in such a strange way? Or did it develop after she obtained her forte? Regardless, she definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh. Get what we dad about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she got so embarrassed there. Oh, it's okay. This part of her seems a bit more normal. <laughs> oh God, is this our ship? Is this our two our ship for Coco Head here? All right, stop the wolf man. I'll go first. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Zilch Alexander. Yeah, guess what? You weren't first. <laughs> I got you last, brother. Zilch Alexander, huh? What a name. What a name. Again, what a name. I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me Nature's Mediator. Oh, wait, so do you deal with, like, animals like, uh, uh, Gundam used to? I love people, nature, and the harmony between them. Okay, you're not like Gundam and because <laughs> he didn't really... <laughs> okay. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? No. Rumor has it that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died. All cursed by a sunken ritual site. Okay. It was a once in a century difficult case. The one who solved it was none other than myself. Good for you, man. There wasn't much to it. The culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. The strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. They all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret. I'll let you figure out what that means. Da, 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 okay. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's mediator. He does look like a good detective. With a weird fucking hat. Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain Wait, wasn't Mista also like, uh, like, wasn't his lore he was a detective or some shit as well? <laughs> So this dude actually is the second coming of Mr. Rios. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. I'll describe my forte as well. Okay. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an emergency. My forte is animal investigation. So the animals do things for you? I can control animals okay. as I wish and recruit them from my inquiries. Quite fitting for the philanthropist that I am. <laughs> All right, man. Though useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. Can you get like any animal? As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged mammals. Okay. <laughs> Less intelligent animals are easier to control. Oh, <laughs> well damn. I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. Uh, you are kind of like Gundam in that way, using mice instead of hamsters. Unfortunately, I can't show it off right now, because there aren't any mice on this train. Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. He really is impressive. Yeah, I like this dude. That is all from me. With love, I yield to the next Yeah, person. I saved you for last, my dude. I like him. I think he's my favorite character so far. I think he's cool, I like him. Lastly, it aside from having amnesia, is there anything else we should know about? I still can't remember anything. 
If you really are a master detective, then you should have some sort of forte. <sighs> oh, young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear? Or brands you like? You only inquired about clothing. <laughs> Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. Bro, that would make him have more amnesia. Hold on! Aphex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. The perplexing circumstance we faced may have something to do with his memories. That's right, I was wondering about that. Yeah, explain. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Explain, please. Did something happen? Well... Something unexpected has occurred on our trip. The number of people is off. Uh-oh. The number of people? Uh-oh. I, Hoochie, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was precisely five. Five? One, two, three, four. There's more than five. Wait. One, two, two three. three. Four, Four. Five. five. Six. Six? Yeah, uh. There's six of us! I also heard from the WDO that five master detectives will gather on board. Hence why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. Sus? I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. <laughs> this is getting exciting. It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. God damn it, they said the thing! He said the thing! <laughs> it's not me! Sussy! I think. How about we contact the WDO and find out? It could be a mistake. It's no use. I can't reach them. There's no signal here. <laughs> Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? Obvious. I'm the most suspicious, especially with my amnesia in this situation. Yes? Could I be the imposter? And God. I just can't remember? Among Us I'm changed. One here. Among Us changed people's brains forever. At least it changed mine forever. I can't hear the word imposter and not think Among Us sussy. All right, I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. You may speak. I'll allow it. <laughs> Why would I need your permission? <laughs> Whatever. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Then who is? Huh? It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. <laughs> You've never played Danganronpa, my dude. The runt must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack Yuma? To pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. Maybe. The plan was going smoothly. The runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed. The results stand before us. Then where are they? Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The runt's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. And I thought you'd be the most useless one here. Damn. Why? In <laughs> other words, I was knocked out at the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. Excuse me. My deduction is slightly different. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Stop acting like we need to get your permission. <laughs> I suspect that the entire situation is a test. Designed by the World Detective Organization. That would make sense. A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member and is ascertaining our skills here. Oh, that's a possibility. If that were the case, Yuma here could possibly be the exam no, officer. No, it's not. I can tell you that straight up. At least I don't think so. Me? An ex <laughs> Bring it on. I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got. Okay, then it's got to be the old man. I'm putting my theory out right now. It's the old man. What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. 
And how are you going to do that? Like this. What the? Okay. What are you? Let's go. Oh. Okay. That's your ability. Cool, dude. Uh, what do you find out? <laughs> Weird feeling overcame my whole body. No signs of the enemy. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Um, what did you do? I used my full oh, there's only life detection. Oh wait, there's only in the entire train. Okay. I can detect life in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. You say life, what about dead bodies? The mechanism is a trade secret, but I can say without a doubt that we're the only ones on this train. Talk all you want, but who can verify that you're not lying? We're never gonna get anywhere if you start doubting everything. Dang. Use your own damn powers to figure it out then. I see. So Fortes come in handy at a time like this. In that case, there's someone else with a power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be her. Do you all have anything interesting to say? About your power. I can only project my own memories. Unfortunately, I can't show things I myself don't. In other words, I cannot tell if there are. Oh. Okay. Songi's photography power probably isn't helpful right now. I'm just gonna talk um, to them all because why not? Should you use your forte to prove Aphex's claim? That's not possible. With no animals to control here, it's difficult to conduct any sort of investigation on the train. I feel like there'd be a lot of yaoi about these two characters. Don't know why, just get the feeling. Unless you're hiding a mouse inside your pocket, then we can talk. Right. Hmm. Zilch's power to control animals. We know you can't do anything, you can't do anything, don't really care, just talk to her. Um, Poochie, would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Poochie, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing and heartbeat. Alright, go on. Shall I try? Yes, please. Show us your power, girl. Uh, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots! Okay, what the fuck? Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? I need to concentrate. She got she that, that was weird. Show us your power. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that, that, that's pretty crazy. All right, sure. Huh. Oh, what the fuck? This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Does no one else hear it? What's going on? Okay, that's a little weird. I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us. AK, here. there's a dead body in this train. Though one could hold their breath, they still cannot stop their heart from beating. Unless they're dead. In other words, there's no one else on this train. I, Pucci, guarantee it. See? I told you so. Sorry for calling you gloomy earlier, little girl. You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but. 
Aren't our powers kind of the same? Yes! I can hear heartbeats from 500 oh. meters away. Oh, <laughs> get fucked. Uh. So you're the useless one. Uh. Quiet, you catty bitch! Hey, 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 chill the fuck out. <laughs> I mean, I called her that earlier, but like, bro. Moving on. We've now got proof from two master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them, an imposter? Are playing Among Us. <laughs> but Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. <laughs> But I'm the only one who can sense their powers. Hmm. No one else seems to have Maybe that's experience. your power, sensing others' powers. I don't know. Why am I the only one? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, old man? What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train. The wheels of fate chugging along. Sure. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Mm -hmm. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading oh, detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. He's got to be the villain with a sprite like that. Like, come on, you tell me this man ain't the villain? Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? We're all master detectives here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. It's I've old used man. My power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your Well, fortune? there's no animals in the train, my guy. How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? Uh, chill, then. As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. So, you're fine being considered a suspect, then? You are free to think what you wish. Unfortunately, I can't prove myself, either. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a Let's medium. Let's go find one! Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off, but it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. That's true. Damn. There's no way to hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! That, that's not gonna help the situation! Whoever passes out is safe, got it? The real deal. If you don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detective. Yeah, that we that not help, okay. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm. The mo one possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? Uh, there are. You may speak. I'll allow. Okay, shut up. Hundred about that. time. Why would we need your permission? Yeah, for real, dude. The Amaterasu Corporation. They could be responsible for this. And your reasoning? Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was oh. first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows. But I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. And? I walked around town in my underwear. And at last, they revealed themselves. I'm sorry, you did what? Why? I'm, I, and you weren't arrested? Hold up. Did you just say that you... Yo, what in the world? Hmm? Something the matter? <clears throat> Never mind. Oh, what? Continue. The fuck, bitch? I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However... I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Good to know. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? 
because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. It's a possibility. The spy has only one goal. To disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. I can't hear that word normally anymore, damn it! Hmm, so you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Then why the fuck would someone get in their car? Well, that's fair. Um, excuse me. You keep talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? Yeah, explain that, please. You kidding me? We gotta explain that too. Please do, actually, for my sake. It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share information with one another. Teach me to. Oh, okay. Uh, about the Amaterasu uh, Corporation, please. What is the Amaterasu Corporation? In short. Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. You see their products practically everywhere in daily life. Uh -huh. They make everything from kids' toys to fighter jets, industrial goods, electronics, and pharmaceuticals. Big companies always got dark underbellies. With Amaterasu, with their smoke, there's a whole building burning down. That's a detective joke. Funny, huh? No, not really. Sure, I got it. Thanks. Sure, man. All right, about Kanai Ward. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated, but Kanai Ward is essentially an Amaterasu autonomous zone. What the fuck does that even mean? Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city, but as it was being developed by Amaterasu Corp. The city itself transformed. Factories, research labs, and affiliate companies were built. In no time, the whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out, aside from rumors of unsolved cases. This has been going on for years, but the unified government has been turning a blind eye to the whole thing. The Amaterasu Corporation's influence affects not just the UG, but the entire world. Shut that down, note that down, chat. Write it down, Given it's Given the situation, important. the World Maybe. Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer and decided to act. As a result, Master Detectives are gathering in Kanai Ward. That's pure speculation, mind you. We won't know the full details until we arrive. I see. Thank you very much. Okay, last, but not least, about the Amaterasu Express! Speaking of, this train is called the Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes. The Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train. Yeah, I know the this. WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival. At yep. Normally, it has no passenger cars for the trip to Kanai. Yep. It features enough passenger space for all of us and a lavish dining car. Quite the warm welcome. A perfect setup to persuade us nothing is amiss in Kanai Ward. By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. Good to know. They say it's for our safety, but I feel as though we're stuck in a big, moving car. Yeah, if it crashes, we're fucked. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be opened. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. Which is... weird. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. That's not a good sign. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. 
Has anything you heard sound familiar? It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. <laughs> Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Huh? Who? Who? Who talking there? Is that the little, little demon looking ghost thing? Girl? That we saw at the beginning? Things can't. Oh, fuck, those go by so quick. I um, gotta get to read them. Did someone just speak? No. Hey, what's wrong? You've gone pale. How about you have something warm to drink and get some rest? Although we only seem to have coffee. Here. Only coffee? That sucks. I don't like coffee. Hey, there's, there's alcohol there, but I think all of us are underage here. Do you drink it black, or do you need some milk? Front probably wants milk. Hey, how old are you anyway? I can't tell from the way you dress. He's like ten. Never mind him. Here, have a drink to warm yourself up. <sighs> Thank you. He's actually 1,000 years old. Wow. What was that voice earlier? Am I hearing things? No, it's... It, I don't know. What's I have amnesia, on? and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? You're going crazy. I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Are you gonna make me pick? Uh, myself. I would say it's this dude. I'm at myself though. Looking at things objectively, the situation I'm in is pretty strange. Not to mention the mystery of my missing memories. Was it an accident or did someone attack me? Regardless, I can't remember. So in the end, I'm the most suspicious one here. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. I bet you don't. I wonder if I can somehow remember what those powers were. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Remembering now won't do any good. Hey, chill. There it is again. I keep hearing that voice. Jeez, what's happening to me? I don't know, man. Hey, Runt! Uh-huh? Get over here. The old man is gonna show off his powers. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, Zange? Sure. I've heard someone has used thoughtography to show the other side of the moon. The fuck? Can you do that, Zange? What the fuck does that even mean? There is a chance that it's all a trick made to look like a forte. Let's observe him carefully and see. Okay. Photography, huh? Can you use it to show what historical figures wore day to day? I don't think that's possible, but all right. Oops. Make it quick, old man. It should be no problem if... Okay, we talked old man. Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. What, the iPhone? What's that? Your cell phone? Quiet. All right, show it, old man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. That was that easy, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's just that easy. There it is again. I can feel Zonga using his forte. As I've said before, my power is photography. What, what showed up? I'm curious. I can project my memories onto electronic mediums to generate and record footage. Hmm. The recorded clip shows what occurred approximately five minutes ago. I suppose it's faster to simply show you. Oh, well, okay. 
That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. I can only record about two to three seconds. Hmm. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. Oh, okay. Wow, it is it is like a stand. A hermit purple out here. Also, as memories fade, the recorded footage will also fade. Okay, well that's a little different from Hermit The rule purple. of thumb is that it lasts around 48 hours. Hmm. But by copying it to another device before it fades, footage can be used as evidence during investigations and in court. Pardon me, but are you sure this is thoughtography? It appears as though you captured footage from a hidden camera. All you do is doubt everybody. Be constructive for once. You think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. Bro, little ghost girl, whatever the fuck you are, just come out. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep the voices. louder. <laughs> the voices! Oh my god! It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Oh, we gonna pass out. Oh man, are you all right? No, he's not. You don't seem well. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. Nah, I doubt it. The passenger rooms from car three and beyond are all full, so you should use car one at the front. I thought we were the only people on this train. What do you mean the fuck they're full? I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second Or car. you mean that you all filled them up? Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be all right on your own? Or do you need some company? Sheesh, get a grip, will ya? Uh, uh. Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. I'm all right. I can get there by myself. Well, then let's go. <laughs> I am uh, really feeling it. Oh. Are you around? Thank you. Uh... No, I'm fine. Okay. Let me talk. Oh, God. I am losing it. I'll allow it. Inference car one, go rest there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um. You look pale. Do you need any assistance? S sorry. No, I'm fine. Go on my own. You say so. Okay. Let me save. I'm gonna leave now. Very slowly with our headache. We are slowly losing our minds. We will eventually make it. Okay. Let's go uh, through the door. Here we go. To the infirmary. To to the to, to the infirmary we go. Okay. Oh yeah, it was locked. You can't get in. Wait. It's locked. You gotta find the key first. The key. Oh god damn it. Where is the key? Is it somewhere in the first car? We're gonna I find. See, I see. If the entire area of the minimap is shiny, that means a destination or an investigation object is nearby. Let's take a closer look around. We're gonna find a dead body. I can feel it. Or we're not. I don't know. Let's check the bathroom. It opened. Uh oh. Wait, am I right? Oh god. Oh god, we're gonna find a dead body! Wait, no, we're not. Man, we're not. We're fine. Are we good? You good? Oh! And he passed out. I thought we were gonna find a dead body. I was like, oh. You okay? It's time to get up. How long are you gonna sleep? Get up, 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 or I'll boom kill you. What does that even mean? <sighs> uh, what the fuck is that expression? Oh. Huh? Oh god. <laughs> Hello. So you can finally see cute little me. Yeah. <laughs> It's all taking root. Okay. Sure. Weird. Or, or ghost woman thing. 
Hi. Nice to meet you. What? Huh? What is this thing? Maybe she is his power. How can you call me a thing when I'm so adorable? <laughs> okay. Well, aren't you rude? <laughs> it's talking. Not only am I hearing things, I'm seeing things too. Uh, I've completely lost it. Snap out of it. You're my master, aren't you? The fuck? Master? That's right. We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between when us. When did we do this? Huh? What pact? What? You've forgotten all about how we were so passionately bound together? Sorry. Huh? After I offered myself to you and you Okay, alone. you don't have to phrase it that way. You're so irresponsible. Take ownership of your actions. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Are you kidding? Of course you forgot. That's part of the contract. Oh, so you caused the amnesia, right? You don't get a death god for free, you know. If you want to eat, you gotta bring something to the table. So you're a death god. You're a Shinigami. Wait. What did you just say? A death god? <laughs> oh. Call me Shinigami. Oh, you're actually- okay, that's interesting. Shinigami, huh? Good, I guess. Nice name. Huh. Want the death note? Death god sounds so ominous and creepy. That ain't my style, you know? Want the death note. I'm too cute for that. I was born too pure and innocent. I love that sprite. That's actually pretty cute. That's why I prefer to go by Shinigami. Anyway, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good answer, Master. You keep calling me Master. Wait, are you haunting me? Maybe. Please, call me Shinigami. Shinigami? Yup, yup. Of course, I'm 100% haunting you. I'm haunting you like your life depends on it. Because it does. Or, I don't know. That was your wish after all. That's why we made that contract. Huh? That's what I wanted? Huh? And for our sweet, sweet contract, you offered something in return. His memories. Offered? <gasps> you mean... <laughs> My virginity is gone? No! You finally got it? You offered your own memories. And he's like, <laughs> I Okay, this is it. I really like her. She's cute. Like, all these little sprites are actually really cute. You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. That's why I have amnesia? <laughs> the euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. Uh-huh. Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. Not. Uh, uh huh. Which is it? Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? Sorry, but I can't share the contract's details with you. Those are the rules. Well, that's weird. Why not? Tell me. Yeah, like what the fuck, bitch? No can do. That's the contract. By the way, Master, something's been bothering me. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Huh? Yep. Oh, and shit. And here I was, waiting for you to wake up. Admirable. Two hours? Right? They're probably like, where is he? During that time, no one came to check on you. They're all so cruel, you know? Maybe they forgot about you. Speaking of, why am I here? Is this the restroom in the first car? Yeah. That's right. I felt sick at the dining car, so I was looking for the key to the infirmary. You should watch your own health, Master. We share mind and body. When you feel sick, I get irritated too. Good to know. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt <laughs> sick in the first place. Hey, don't blame me. Anyway, you better hurry and take a look around. That's right. Where are the others? Okay. Oh, now I get a little friend. I don't know if I trust this Shinigami as far as I can throw her, 
And that's not very far at all. Because I don't even think I can touch her. Hmm. Why are you staring in the mirror? Are you the type of guy who admires himself until he dies of heartbreak? <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> I can see in the mirror and I can hear its voice. It's not a hallucination. <laughs> you still didn't believe me. <laughs> yeah. This place. Well. You have no memories, Master, so of course it's none. Yeah. I guess you're right. Can I check the bathroom style? Uh, it's the door to a private room. It's not locked. There doesn't seem to be anyone inside. You side. good? You sure you don't want to open it up and check? Maybe a homicidal maniac is hiding in there! Or maybe a girl's dead body is on there and she's written the numbers that actually spell out the word Leon! Let's go. S smoke? What? What's going on? Wait, is the train- is the train on fire? What? Weren't you watching over me the whole time? I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. What the fuck? All I saw was your dumb sleeping face in the restroom. I have no clue what happened outside. The fuck? So what happened here? What's going on? Hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door! Right! Is there a fire? So it's What's going on? Now I'm getting excited. Excited from okay, what? Excited? We have We're at to the do fire something. extinguisher. What the fuck? They grab the fire extinguisher. Oh, oh now I can run. Wait, the fire extinguisher's been taken out. Why? That's sus. Okay, not gonna let me go. Okay, that's sus. I why can't I grab <laughs> What's going on? Zilch! Oh no! No! Zilch, please wake up! Zilch! No fucking way! There's too much smoke! I, I gotta help! Master, look! We're at the- What the fuck? Alright. Bitch, what the fuck? Put the fire out! <laughs> I like this dude! Oh, no way. No, what the fuck? I liked him! You're shitting me! Go on, cautious! 